So it's March and we will be talking about books in translation for this month's three and three. Stick around to see which books I am recommending for this prompt. Hey y'all, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel, Ifers Inklings. If you are not familiar with what my three and three series is, I will link the um, original video that explains it all down below and I'll probably put a card up here or over here I guess um, but March's theme for three in three is books in translation so we're just gonna dive into this and get started now keep in mind that these are not necessarily my favorite books but these are just books that I recommend that fit this themes topic the first book I have for you is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. They are a adult mystery thriller type series and we are introduced to the two main characters in the first one and they solve a murder and also um, there's some kind of like espionage type stuff that is resolved in that as well. That's not a very good description is it? But can't give much away. There is a murder mystery. Um, there is some very um, triggery type of situations that happen. So um, just keep that in mind. They are definitely adult books. The next book that I want to tell you about that is a book in translation is 1Q84 by Haraki Murakami. It's a Japanese name, I think. And um, in my head, I can say it just perfectly, but the, it doesn't come out of my mouth the same. Now, this is another weird book. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it's long. It is translated from Japanese. It's a mystery. It's a fantasy. It's a little dystopian. It's a little bit of a love story. It's a little bit of self-discovery, all kind of thrown in together. The two main characters that you follow are Ayomami, and she begins to notice some weird things that are happening, just some subtle differences in her world, which is why she dubs the year to be IQ84, um, and it's kind of because the Q is a question mark. Um, it's supposed to be 1984. But again, there's some weird stuff going on and things just are a little different. And then Tingo, Tango is the other main character and he is an aspiring author and he takes on a ghost writing project that is becoming very difficult for him. And then their two worlds converge. And then that's kind of where the story takes off. Um, it's interesting. It is a little strange. There's a little sci-fi fantasy in there. Um, definitely a little bit of a mystery, definitely an adult book as well. So again, very enjoyable though. And the final book I want to talk about today is A Man Called Uwe by Frederick Backman. And, um, I own the book somewhere, but I don't know where it's at over there. Otherwise I'd show it to you. But this book is, it's just so endearing. It really follows an old cranky man and who is trying to really check out of this world and he but he's got things he has to finish before he can go before he can really off himself and um he meets this um young couple across the street in, that moves in across the street from him and he this cat shows up on his doorstep and then we learn about some of his older friends that um, he for whatever reason were um, estranged from and um, it's just a really good heartwarming story um, I really I can't really describe it any more than that it's really good. It is a contemporary. Um, it's in the adult genre. Those are my three recommendations for the um, books in translation theme for the month of March. 
If you have read any of these books, let me know what you thought of them below. If you have any other books in translation that you would like to recommend, please leave those in the comments below as well. I have really enjoyed all of the books in translation that I've read, and I am definitely looking for more to check out. Now, my topic for the month of April is going to be books that have autistic characters or relate to autism. Um, April is Autism Awareness Month, and as many of you know, my niece is autistic. She is she is on the spectrum, um, and so it is nice to be able to read books that she's represented in, in a way. Um, so, if you are interested in doing this series, please, by all means, do it. And um, just be sure and tag me over on Twitter. You can use the hashtag 3 and 3 autism and if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when I post new content. And um, all my links to social media are always in the down box below. Please give me a follow over on Twitter or Instagram and or Instagram. Um, and as always, until next time, bye.